right now we're at Cap Belly for the first edition of Wings and Things. So basically it's a competition to see who has the best wings and restaurants in Puerto Plans and Cap Aysen are participating. And since right now we are in Cap Aysen, we're like, let's go to Cap Belly because I saw they were <laughs> in the competition. And so we're at Cap Belly right now to check out their wings. We're actually going back home to Puerto Plans tomorrow. So we're going to check out some more restaurants, probably in Pissonville. There are quite a few. So we're going to go to those restaurants as well. So right now we just want to see what's up with the wings at Cap Belly. I got a steak burger with some fries, what it looks like. Here are the wings. It comes with a side of salad and papita. Five hours later. So we just got back to the hotel and it's hours later since when you saw us eating at Cab Deli. Uh, the wings were good, but you know, I'm going to do a full review after we try some other places participating in wings and things. So yeah, once we get to Porto Plants, we're going to go to a few restaurants in Pétionville. Uh, we actually had to switch rooms. They just gave us this room because once we walked into our hotel room, it was like this loud noise and um, it was coming from the AC and it would not cut off even with the AC turned off it would not cut off and so um, they actually had to switch us to this room we have a double we're only going to be here for one more night we're leaving tomorrow morning so I'm like uh but anyways I've never stayed in a room this size in Satama um, and so yeah let me show y'all real quick I feel like there was a chair that's supposed to be here or something but anyways we have a double that was the only room available for the night, so this is where we are. By now, you all know that Satama is my favorite hotel in Cap Aisie. I did a review video on it, so if you haven't watched it, please check it out. I'm gonna link it down below. If you're coming to Old Cap, I definitely recommend this hotel right here. We actually didn't stay here the whole time. Uh, we've been in Old Cap for a while. We were staying at an Airbnb, and then um, we didn't really get what we wanted to get accomplished like it was like mission impossible uh we didn't come for vacation we came to kind of sort something out we also needed a break from photo plants and you know it just needs to take care of some things and yeah so we didn't want to you know stay at a hotel for all that time so we just stayed at airbnb but then um we ended up needed some extra time because as I said, it was kind of like mission impossible. And we're like, you know what, let's try to add a couple of days. Maybe <laughs> something can happen. And um, yeah, so we added, you know, a couple more nights and we're like, let's go to the hotel. We didn't want to, you know, stay at an Airbnb or continue staying at the Airbnb. So uh, that's why we came over here to Satama, which was great. Um, but we're leaving tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm about to just repack everything and weigh our suitcases because we came here on Sunrise Airways from Puerto Plans to here. Very short flight, like 25 minutes, 30 minutes. And um, yeah, they allow 50 pounds. And you can't even have two, two suitcases. So it's like one suitcase per person. And um, yeah, anyway, so I have to repack everything to make sure everything is evenly distributed <laughs> within the two suitcases. And, um, yeah, and I'm going to call it a night.
These are all the restaurants that are participating in wings and things. We are back in Pétionville. We were just in Eau Cap this morning. We flew in on a Sunrise Airways flight, very, very short flight, like 30 minutes. And um, yeah, you know, we're doing the little restaurant tour I told y'all about because it's Wings and Things, first edition of Wings and Things competition or a festival. I didn't know calling it a festival. So it's to see who has the best wings. And there are lots of restaurants in Pétionville participating. So we are going to go to a few, you know, we're just getting some wings. So it's not like <laughs> we're going to order a whole bunch of stuff, just ordering the wings at each place. Uh, right now we're starting off at Pistachio. Uh, this is a really chill restaurant in Pistachio. We usually come here for breakfast. They also have like rolled ice cream and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, so yeah, anyway, so we're going to see what the wings are like over here. I didn't really look up everybody's wings. I mean, I saw, you know, the participants and I saw a few pictures, but I didn't really go and search and see what flavor it's going to be and all of that. So, um, yeah, I guess we're in for a surprise. I think Kinam is the sponsor because uh, everybody's wings come with Kinam, which is a beer made with, what is it made with, Kinam? Pissimi. Pity me, pity me, or no, blay. No, it might be pity. Anyways, we'll see. <laughs> but I think it's on the bottle, but it's this beer that's made with pity me. Um, I will put the translation across the screen so you can see. So we just made it to the next restaurant. We are in Portofino. They already gave Sammy the beer. This is the beer that, well, he already poured it into his glass, but this is a local beer. It is made with pizzini. And um, yeah, so at every restaurant, they are serving it with beer. When we were in Cap Deli, they actually made a cocktail with the beer. And so I had that, because I don't really like beer, um, but the cocktail was really good. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, so these two restaurants in Pistone View so far that we've been to, they just have, they're just serving it with a beer. And um, yeah, so let's see. Um, I'm not sure what flavor their wings are. The last restaurant that we were at, uh, Pistachio, their wings were Korean style chicken wings. So yeah, I'm not sure what they have over here, but um, we'll see. Yeah, so we are at Nago right now, and it is a Asian fusion and sushi restaurant. So I tried to get something else just to try because I haven't been here before. So <laughs> I wanted something else as well. So yeah. So anyways, we're gonna see how it is. So we are on our way home from Nago. I couldn't really chat with you all in there because there was a speaker right next to us. And so, um, yeah, that's why I couldn't really talk to you all, but it was our first time dining in there. We actually ordered one time during the pandemic. We had food delivered from there one day. So we've tried it before, but that was our first time dining in. And so we wanted to just try a few other things. 
and along with the wings. Maybe on another day, since the competition ends on the 15th, on May 15th, so we still have time to check out some other restaurants, but we just went to the restaurants that were really close to each other. Like Portofino and Nago are walking distance from each other. And then Pistachio is a, probably like a two minute or less drive. So we just went to, you know, the restaurants that were like really close to each other. And there were a few more in that area, like really close to that area. But as I said, we ordered some extra things from Nago. And we're just like, we're not, you know, going to any other restaurant to get wings. That's it. <laughs> we're done for today. So we ended up only going to four restaurants. And there were lots of participants in the Wings and Things competition. So I definitely can't do a full-on review. But I still want to tell you all what I think of the four restaurants that we did go to. So first, I start with Cap Deli. Cap Deli had Wings Carnaval. They had three different flavors. Cheese Alfredo, Barbecue Sesame, and honey spicy sriracha. Honey spicy sriracha was definitely my favorite. I absolutely love those wings. They were very crispy. I think they were maybe fried before they were coated uh, in the sauce. But yeah, definitely my favorite. It also came with a side of salad and a papita bowl and then a kinam sangria. I think they were very creative. You can see that they stuck to the carnival theme with all the garnishing and if you see how the papita is sticking up from the bowl, it reminds you of a carnival mask. So yeah, they were definitely creative. One thing I really liked is that they had a Kinam cocktail instead of just giving you a bottle of beer. Because I actually don't really like beer. Not really. I don't like beer at all. <laughs> and so I never drink beer. I don't like the taste of it. But the cocktail was really good. So when it comes to the price, it costs 2,500 good, which at that time when converted into USD is about, you know, $16 or so. They definitely gave more food than some others. However, I would still say if they added some more chicken wings to the plate, then it would definitely be worth the price. <laughs> so we need a little bit more for 2,500 good. We need a little bit more. Pistachio had Korean style chicken wings. Their wings were absolutely delicious okay they had some really good wings it also came with fries and a dipping sauce uh, the fries were also really good they had some type of seasoning on top so they were really good and crispy the the dipping sauce was good everything on the plate was absolutely delicious although everything tasted really good i think for the price of 16 us dollars with tax included i think they were a bit overpriced because they only gave four chicken wings <laughs> they came with four so yeah i think they should definitely add more maybe if they had a cocktail instead of just a bottle of beer then it wouldn't seem you know too expensive but i don't know i think for four chicken wings i think it was overpriced like i wouldn't want to go anywhere and order it for that price so portofino had kina cool wings and when i saw that name i instantly said okay this must be a play on words like you know babo cool which is haitian rum and instead of babo cool kina cool because maybe kinam you know the kinam beer and kinam is the sponsor of this competition and so i was like okay maybe the wings were infused with kinam because i went on their instagram to try to see if they had details on their wings and all it said was kinaku wings i couldn't really figure it out but to me the wings tasted like a smoky barbecue flavor and then they had a side that i can't figure out what it was i also went to their instagram to try to figure out what this what was the side um, i've never had anything like that before so I, I don't know what it is the side was really 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 good and it was served with a bottle of kinam so now when it comes to the price it costs 19 us dollars with tax included um and i think they should definitely add some more wings okay for that price i think we definitely need some more wings for 19 dollars. i wasn't surprised by the price because it definitely aligns with portofino's prices that's actually my favorite restaurant in pittsburgh view so i go there a lot and so i wasn't surprised by the price however i think when it comes to the competition they should definitely either add more wings or they should lower the price. Now, last we have Nago. Nago had yin yang wings and it came with some waffle fries and what seemed to me like hash browns. I'm not 100% sure. Again, <laughs> I'm not. But when I went to their Instagram page to try to figure out what that side was, it, it just says the perfect balance of flavors served with our homemade ranch, waffle fries, and a refreshing kinam cocktail. So they didn't mention that other side. You know, this is an Asian fusion restaurant. So 
you know, keep that in mind when it comes to the flavor. It had sesame seeds on there. It reminded me of the wings from pistachio, and pistachio had Korean style wings, so maybe that's what they had as well. Theirs also came with a cocktail. So two out of the four restaurants I visited had a cocktail. The cocktail was really good. We actually took it to go. And when it comes to the price, Nago definitely had the best price. It was $12, 12 US dollars. Since we ordered other things off of their menu, I don't know the exact total that it would have been if we just ordered the wings like how we did at the other two restaurants where we went to that day. When I looked on their Instagram, I noticed in the comments that they mentioned that it was $12 plus 10% tax. But even with tax added, they definitely had the best price because they gave the most food <laughs> that was the, the main thing. They gave the most food. And I think that's a decent price if you want some wings and, you know, some sides and a cocktail. Yeah, I think they definitely had the best price um, between the four restaurants that we went to. Overall, I would say all of the wings were really good. Everything that we ate was really good. So taste definitely 10 out of 10 for everyone. The only thing I would say that needs to be adjusted are definitely the prices. Besides Nago, Nago has the best price, but the other restaurants, I think they either need to lower their price or they should add some more wings in there and then it would definitely be worth the price. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna go to more restaurants next year because this year was just four, but it was still a cool experience. I really like this competition. I hope they bring it back year after year. So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.